Hi, welcome to another Mac 4 video. This one is inspired by Craig CRS on the Mac 4 forum and he wants to know how to emulate a momentary switch. Basically, he wants the switch to be able to turn on but he wants it to turn itself off after a certain amount of time. Now there are a couple of ways of doing it and the most simplest way of doing it is to use a WX Sleep. But WX Sleep has a big drawback in the way that it will block the GUI from working. So I'm going to show you the way I would do it. From Mac 4, if you go into your editor, I'm going to add a toggle switch, what you didn't want, and I'm going to call it Tog Spin. And the text up, I'll put it as Turn On, and the text down as Turn Off. Simple. So let's go to the script part of the down one. So what do we want to do? We want to turn this switch on. I'm going to do this one for five seconds. So first off, let's declare our instance. And that's going to be mc, .mc get instance. Now, timer. Let's make a timer. Well, we've got a timer, and an example comes in the screen load script. So if we head over to our screen load, we will find a timer panel. So we're going to use this timer panel within our button. And we'll place that within here and make room. So when you press this toggle button, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn a signal on. And for the signal that CRS wanted is going to be our output signal spindle on. Now, I can't see the point of doing the RC code on MC signal get handle because by putting the MC06 spindle on, if it doesn't find a signal, you'll get a lower error because it will be the MC signal get handle will be nil, so that will give a lower error. So you'll never get the RC code on the return from that. So we've turned the signal on, now we need to start the timer off, which we can do that with timer start. And it's in milliseconds, let's do this for five seconds. So add your three noughts, so 5,000 milliseconds is five seconds. Now to run it once, we haven't got the command that is in WX widgets, which is um, timer start once, five seconds, and then stop. So we have to put the timer stop within the event here. And obviously, after the five seconds, we're going to turn the signal off. So we'll change that to a state of zero. And that will then turn our signal off. Now, if we had a timer for five seconds, you've pressed the button, then you suddenly realize you don't want to do it and you want to turn it straight back off. We'll take our timer stop and the signal itself. We'll save our changes in there and we're going to put this in the up script. So we'll declare our instance again. And then we'll turn our signal, we'll do our timer and we'll turn our signal off. 
but it's what we need to do is we need to find the handle to that signal again in here so back in our down scripts we'll just grab hold of this part here and also copy that into here and that should be it we've exited the editor and there's no errors right so i've put a spindle on led sat down in the corner here so we can test it and this should be for five seconds so we'll turn the spindle on and after five seconds there she turns off but if you notice the state of this button the button is still in the down position and we want that to come up well we can do that with a screen property command so if we go back into the editor and we'll add underneath here when it's changed all the signals we'll, we'll do a screen set property our button which is tog spin and the button state we want to change to up and we also need to put that in our up script save everything come out the editor that turn back the right way around so if we test it now we can turn our signal on five seconds ago it'll turn our signal off and put our button to the state that we require now remember the fallback if you turn sync on you can turn it straight back off as well so it's it's running as a fallback as just like i said earlier so hope that's answered your questions crs and I'll see you in the next video.